This month we got some huge teasers for the IITPP and today we are going to explain them all. First let's start with the emergency self-destruct system in Quarantine. On the 3rd of this month we got this message from the site director with a video. Let's watch it now. Alert, an executive procedural override has been placed by the Innovation Intelligence Agency and the Provincial Hazardous Environment Combat Unit. The emergency destruct system is now active. All facility compound entrances and areas will get made in T minus. Here's my theory on how to activate this, have around 10 to 15 zombies in the facility for 5 minutes without getting disinfected. Then ASAS will announce this and the facility-wide quarantine warning will activate. It looks like there is now another sub-branch to the thermal power plant called the Biohazardous Response Bureau. They might have been formed during the construction of the advanced machinery area in Sector D. Now with the ESDS, the IIA activates the ESDS as a defense mechanism so the zombies can escape the facility. Now let's get things straight here, this is no warhead or magma crystal, it's smaller than that but will take down the facility for a little while. But how do you escape? Bunker? No. Rocket? Nope. A helicopter of course. And just so you know, if you watch my YouTube shorts, you know I talked about the blast doors changing. So in this image we can confirm that this is for the ESDS because the blast windows in the main entrance have the biohazard logo. Also maybe during meltdown. Freeze down in Warhead we can't escape through the true ending because the main exit doors are closed now. But maybe it's just for this but we will have to wait and see. Let's get to some model news. On the 4th of this month Boro posted a screenshot for the safeguard revamp. It definitely looks a lot better than the one we have now with lot more detail. On the 12th the new badge has been added to the badge list to the IITPP called Witness Protection. We don't know really anything about this badge except it could be connected to something big. Not ZMB14. Not drinkable coolant. Something big. Something strange. On the 12th just like the badge, the site director posted this in the community server. It's an image of a Pinewood base with some helicopter landing pads? What could this mean? Is Pinewood fighting back for their old facility and volcano? Is someone on the inside working with Pinewood? Well yes, but like and subscribe for a video on that. But something big is happening in the facility. Something bad. But we will just have to wait. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when I post another theory slash lore video on a thermal power plant, and I will see you next time.